optimum factor combination. Combinations on an isocont curve produce the same level of output. Each isocont in the isocont map represents a specific level of output. The outlay of combinations on the isocost line are the same. Factor prices remaining constant, higher outlays form new isocost lines on to the right and parallel to the given isocost curve. Thus, the producer possesses sufficient knowledge about the combinations available, outlay and prices of two factors. With this knowledge, he wants to strike at an optimum combination or least cost combination. For this, we have to superimpose isocont map on isocost graph. The aim of the producer is to produce a given output with a minimum cost combination. The producer decides to produce 200 units of output. This makes all other isocon curves redundant for our discussion. So, let us hide them. He has one isocon curve Q1 and three isocost curves A, B, C, D and E, F representing costs respectively 100 rupees, 200 rupees and 300 rupees. Combinations G, H, Q, L and P are on the isocont IQ1 as well as on any one of the isocost curves. He has to choose any one of the combination among these combinations he will choose the least cost combination. From observation, we can easily say that producer will choose combination Q. It consists of M units of labor and N units of capital. Q is the optimum combination or least cost combination. Why? Let us examine the reasons one by one. One. Q is the only combination on the lowest isocost curve AB. All other combinations are on higher isocost curves. 2. At point Q, isocont IQ1 is tangential to the isocost curve AB. 3. At point Q, Marginal rate of technical substitution of labor for capital is diminishing. The isocon curve is convex. 4. At point Q, slope of the isocon and slope of the isocost curve are the same. 5. At point Q, marginal rate of technical substitution of labor for capital is equal to the factor price ratio PL by PK. 6. Marginal rate of technical substitution of labor per capital is the same as marginal product of labor by marginal product of capital. So, we can state marginal product of labor by marginal product of capital equal to price of labor by price of capital. Then, by rearranging, we get marginal product of labor by price of labor equal to marginal product of capital by price of capital. This is the condition for least cost combination. All the conditions of the least cost combination are satisfied at point Q. Combination Q is technically and economically more efficient than any other combinations. Q is the least cost combination or optimum combination. He will use M units of labor and N units of capital to produce 200 units of output. Though G, H, L and P are on ISO cost and ISO quant, producer will not prefer them. They are on a higher ISO cost line. 
signifying a higher cost of production. They are technically efficient but not economically efficient. If the producer is either at point G or H, marginal rate of technical substitution of labor per capital is higher than the factor price ratio, then it is advantageous for him to move down along the ISO count substituting labor per capital. Finally, he will reach the point Q. On the other hand, if he is at the point L or P, marginal rate of technical substitution of labor per capital is less than the factor price ratio. Then it is advantageous for him to move up along the ISO count substituting capital for labor. Ultimately, he will end up with combination Q. So, combination Q is the optimum combination or least cost combination. Well, our discussion ends here. We shall meet in the next video lesson. Vanakkam.